Admittingly, Daniel Schaefer of Modesto says it's been a while since he cast a ballot. Through the power of prayer is the reason why I'm voting this time. And he's making sure his ballot is going in an official ballot drop box. Official boxes are actually better. That way you know you're officially dealing with things and getting it done. But unlike this drop-off box in front of the Stanislaus County Registrar of Voters Office, illegal boxes are starting to appear less than a month before the election. The issue with these unofficial ballot boxes is that the voter is not saying you are my designated person to return my ballot. According to the County Register of Voters, two churches here in Stanislaus County put out the illegal or unofficial ballot boxes. One church in Modesto, another here in Turlock at the New Life Christian Center here behind me. Um, the churches that we have been um, notified of, I have sent the copy of the code and the Secretary of State's information to um, ensure that they follow California law. A representative for Ted House, who was running for a congressional seat in Stanislaus County, couldn't confirm that the campaign gave a ballot box to New Life Christian Center. But he did say they have helped with collection boxes for church volunteers to use with their parishioners. In a statement supplied to ABC 10 as to why, quote, in a state where our Democratic opponents use felons and paid activists to harvest ballots from their voters' front porches, we support allowing voters to turn in their ballots to train church volunteers at their trusted places of worship. Now, attorneys for the state GOP just sent a letter responding to the Secretary of State's cease and desist order regarding those ballot boxes. The GOP writes they will not place ballots unattended outdoors or places for public gathering, nor will they represent any box as an official ballot box. You can read the entire letter on our website at abc10.com links.